Welcome to my latest video on layer making project. Rather than starting from scratch this time, I'm going back over a bit of old ground with these flying sea layers that I made a while ago. The plan for these was to pop up to Scotland and do a bit of salmon or, or even sea trout fishing with a bit of luck, but it never really came off. And just recently I've been over in Yorkshire doing a bit of uh, rainbow trout fishing in a stocked reservoir. So I, I thought I'd adapt the flying sea, get a bit of eyes and some flash on there. And it's been quite successful at catching rainbows. So that's what this video is about. So the first job I'm going to do is just take apart one of my flying seas. I'm going to get a pair of pliers and just snip the end off. And just put that to one side. So the hook I'm using is a is a number six, and it's a four times strong, so it's quite a robust hook. And to begin with, I'm just going to lay down a bed of fly tying thread. and then get a little bit of nail varnish on it. Just to give the feathers, I'm gonna dress some, some grip. The feathers I'm using are just craft feathers and I bought these from a local supermarket. And what I'm gonna do is just trim three pieces using the stem. And then I can use the stem as a, as a kind of little handle and just roll, roll it round. There we go. Just give that a couple of turns and I can cut off this bit here. It's just a case of repeating that for the other two sides. So once I've got my three sides on, Brush that out of the way. I can just really wrap brush it all back out the way. Kind of neat enough, and I'm going to finish with a with a whipping knot. Just snip that off there. For a bit of protection, I'm going to put a couple of coats of nail varnish. So I'll let that soak in for a minute and then give it another coat. 
So while that's setting up, I'll just get rid of the vise and tidy away the feathers. And then I can come back to my flying C. And the first thing to do is take the sheathing off this weight. And all I'm going to do is just cut that off with a with a blade. So to cover the weight, which is going to make the body of the layer, I'm using some of this uh, foil tape, self-adhesive. I'm just going to cut a piece off and then kind of cut it roughly too. To length. I can peel the back in a way. I just kind of smooth it on. So I only want to cover half. I don't want to cover all of it. So I'm going to use a bit of that tape. To hold it down, I've got a knife, and I can just cut down the side. Turn it round. Should be able to do the other. So I'm just going to smooth that flat with the back of the knife. So once I'm happy I've smoothed all that out, I've got a couple of uh, six millimeter eyes that I'm going to stick on. And I want to sort them sort of on the midline there. Although the adhesive on these eyes is never very good. To cover that and hold them in position, I've got some of this uh, clear shrink tubing. And I want a, a kind of a, a bit longer than the body. Quite a bit longer actually. I'm just going to open that up and slide it over. And I might need to poke about in here just to move the eyes up so they're equal. And then I'm just going to take it in the kitchen and go and shrink that tubing down on the kettle. I'm in the kitchen, I've put the kettle on, it's just coming up to the boil. I've got my weight and my shrink tubing in a bowl. And when the switch flips, I'm just going to pour the hot water onto the weight. And give it a minute to shrink down. And I can drain it and take it back into the desk. So I've got all my bits and bobs together and the first job is to cut down the shrink tubing. Um, I want it about the same length as the shaft of the hook. Let's give that a try. Yep, that's about right. And then I can form my wire. And what I'm using here is uh, MIG welding wire. 
I'm going to make my eye and I want my eye to be with a tag end just a little shorter than the weight so that's about ideal I'm going to form the shoulder by bending the wire back and then take this all the way around and past these are jewelry pliers and there's my eye I can then thread my hook on oops impale myself and then I'm going to thread my weight hopefully if I just pinch that together it should all go through the hole and pull up tight then I'm going to take the bits from my flying C I've got a, a, an 8mm plastic bead to go on I've got a little tiny bead which I think is either ceramic or acrylic and this is going to act as the bearing if I can get it threaded on there we go and then it's my blade and clevis clevis spin there we go so I now now I need to make my hitch eye and to do that I'm back with my pliers I'm gonna make a shoulder again and take my wire around and I'm actually gonna cut a, a bit of that wire off just to make it a bit easy to bend and wrap and then it's just a case of wrapping that around the shaft two or three times then I can trim my end And that's pretty much it, it's done. Just a case of taking it for a test spin. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to share, like or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.